Mm. So the um, the diagnostic criteria for MS have, have evolved regularly over the last two decades. So we've had new iterations of the MS diagnostic criteria in 2001, 2005, 2010, 2017, and now 2025. And, and really, the, the reason for that evolution and the change is because research has been done that's allowing us to use new tools or tools we already have in a better way to allow for an earlier and more accurate diagnosis of MS. And um, you know, my involvement has been on the research side. So um, over the last 10 years or so, I've been involved in a number of studies where we've tried to evaluate changes to the criteria or how we can tinker with things to, to try and diagnose MS earlier. Because in my mind, an early diagnosis of MS is the best way we've got at the moment in 2025 to address progression. There are a number of changes anticipated with the, the new McDonald criteria. And I think that um, among these are some changes to the, the way we use existing tools to diagnose MS. Um, and I think that's going to allow for an earlier diagnosis. So I think the number of people who are going to need a lumbar puncture or a follow-up MRI scan to confirm the diagnosis is going to be less. There are going to be some new tools that we're not using at the moment that are hopefully going to enter clinical practice that are allow, allow us to make the diagnosis of MS with greater accuracy. Because while we want to diagnose MS as early as possible, we don't want to get the diagnosis wrong. And, and we know from time to time neurologists do do that. And then I think the third and um, really important change is going to be this idea that we don't need symptoms to diagnose MS. So people who have what's called radiologically isolated syndrome, where changes consistent with MS on brain scans are picked up even before a person has symptoms. In, in the past, we've just followed those people up, or some people have even just been discharged and been told to come back if you've got any problems. Whereas now we're going to be able to be proactive about the diagnosis of MS and maybe even consider treatment. So I think a challenge with the um, new McDonald criteria is going to be how we're going to be able to implement them in the NHS system. As we all know um, about the challenges that the NHS is facing, the UK's got one of the lowest rates of neurologists in Europe, one of the lowest rates of MRI scans. We have delays in obtaining the investigations needed for a diagnosis of MS, delays in getting them reported. Um, and all of these things are, of course, essential for an early diagnosis. And so I think the, the challenge is going to be implementing these new criteria in clinical practice. and. And really, we're going to have to um, uh, become much more slick as neurology and MS services about assessing people with um, symptoms or, or MRI findings that are worrying for MS and seeing those patients quickly um, and avoiding long waits that many people face at the moment in, in, in terms of accessing a, a neurologist and diagnostics. Mm -hmm.